Hello everyone and welcome to this week's leap class. This week we are going to read about and sing about kites and you're even going to get to make your very own kite to try and fly. Kite flying can be kind of tricky so hopefully you guys will have some luck. Before we read our book let's do our welcome song so I need everyone to stand up and sing along with me. Ready? Hands go up and hands go down. I can turn myself around. I can stand up on one shoe. I can listen. Turn on your listening ear. So can you. I can sit. I'll show you how. Story time is starting now. Thank you, my friends. All right. We are reading the book Stuck by Oliver Jeffers. So let's make a prediction. What do you think is going to get stuck in this tree? Hmm. Let's see. It all began when Floyd got his kite stuck in a tree. He tried pulling and swinging, but it wouldn't come unstuck. Did anyone guess that a kite would get stuck in the tree? The trouble really began when he threw his favorite shoe to knock the kite loose. And that got stuck too. He threw up his other shoe to knock down his favorite shoe. And unbelievably, that got stuck as well. In order to knock down his other shoe, Floyd fetched Mitch. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Cats get stuck in trees all the time, but this was getting ridiculous. Floyd fetched a ladder. He was going to sort this out once and for all. And up he threw it. I'm sure you can guess what happened. The ladder was borrowed from a neighbor and would definitely need to be put back before anyone noticed. And in order to do so, Floyd flung a bucket of paint at it. <laughs> and wouldn't you know, the bucket of paint got stuck. Then Floyd tried... Any predictions of what he tried next? But you didn't guess this. A duck to knock down the bucket of paint. A chair to knock down the duck. His friend's bicycle to knock down the chair. The kitchen sink to knock down his friend's bicycle. Their front door to knock down the kitchen sink. The family car to knock down the front door. The milkman to knock down the family car. And the milkman says, Did you get up here the same way? And a orangutan to knock down the milkman, who surely had somewhere else to be. A small boat to knock down the orangutan. A big boat to knock down the small boat. 
a rhinoceros to knock down the big boat, a long distance lorny to knock down the rhinoceros, the house across the street to knock down the long distance lorny. This person says Floyd? Like, there he is. A lighthouse to knock down the house across the street. A curious whale in the wrong place at the wrong time to knock down the lighthouse. And the whale says, hi, what are you doing? And they all got stuck. A fire engine was passing and heard all the commotion. The firemen stopped to see if they could help at all. And up they went. First the engine, followed by the firemen, one by one. And there they stayed, stuck between the orangutan and one of the boats. Firemen would definitely be noticed missing, and Floyd knew he'd be in big trouble. Then he had an idea and went to find a saw. <laughs> There's his saw. He lined it up as best he could and hurried it up the tree. He didn't saw down the tree, he threw it up. And that was it. There was no more room left in the tree and the kite came unstuck. Floyd was delighted. He had forgotten all about his kite and put it to use immediately, enjoying the rest of his day very much. That night, Floyd fell asleep, exhausted. Though before he did, he could have sworn there was something he was forgetting. What's he forgetting? Got all that stuff still stuck in the tree. And in the tree, the fireman is saying, Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. The end. What a silly book. Wouldn't it be fun to write your own story just like this one, but have all kinds of different things that get stuck in a tree. That's maybe something else you could do if you are looking for something to do. So we are going to sing a kite song now and you all have a little kite on a pipe cleaner. So go ahead and get that out for our song. All right, here's your kite, and it's kind of fun that it's on a pipe cleaner because it kind of really does feel like you're flying a kite. So when we sing the song, we're going to move our kite all around, okay? All the way. Remember this line that goes down our body? We're going to go from one side of that line to the other side. Here we go. My kite is up so high. My kite is up so high. Oh my, just watch it fly. My kite is up so high. My kite is falling down. My kite is falling down. Oh dear, my shed a tear. My kite is falling down. The wind has caught my kite. The wind has caught my kite. Oh, what fun, I'm on the run. The wind has caught my kite. Yay, good job, guys. Today, you're going to make your very own kite with a paper bag. So you all have a paper bag, 
and then you have a popsicle stick with a string. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to wrap the string around the popsicle stick and then tie it in a knot so that it's, it's attached. And if you need your mom or your dad or someone to help you do that, that is great. So go ahead and do that. And then you should have a little hole in the bottom of your paper bag. So you're going to stick the string. Actually, let's do it this way. Let's take your popsicle stick with the string tied to it and let's stick it in that hole. Pull it out. Okay. Now, the popsicle stick is holding the string to the paper bag. Okay? It should be laying flat at the bottom of the paper bag. That way, you don't need to tape the string because sometimes tape will come unstuck, right? So, go ahead and make sure that your string is attached to your paper bag. Now, you have some streamers. These weigh a lot less. So these you can just tape inside your paper bag at the bottom. All right, once these are taped in, now you can start decorating your kite. You could use crayons, you could use watercolor, you could use paint sticks, colored pencils, Whatever you want. You could add stickers. I have this Dr. C sticker book. So I'm going to add, um, maybe I'll add some stickers. I'm not sure yet. But you don't want to put anything too heavy on this because we want it to fly, remember? So actually, maybe I'll just use crayons. So I think I'm going to draw some clouds. And maybe I'll draw some flowers. Okay, so I decorated my bag. If you want, this side I'll add. You can add some stickers. Stickers are really great for your little finger muscles. Uh, especially if you're having a hard time getting them off the page. But this, really good for your finger. Picking them off the page, really good for your finger. Okay, so my kite is ready. So now you're just going to open it up, take it, and you're going to go run with your kite and see if it will catch the wind. It is time to say goodbye. So let's all stand up and we'll do the goodbye song together. Touch the stars, touch your toes, turn around and touch your nose, wave down low and wave up high. Now it's time to say goodbye. 
If you guys go out and fly your kite, make sure to send me a picture or video. I can't wait to see. Bye!